So guys, we all know it. It's almost here. It's Hardware 5. Tesla's next big leap in full self-driving computer is already shaping up to be one of the most significant updates we've seen so far. It's a processor that's so powerful that it might even face export restrictions due to federal laws. But then even given that, Tesla is now pushing beyond the boundaries, giving us early looks and details into what they are planning and powerful versions that stretches all the way to 2030 and beyond. Earlier this year, Elon emphasized that the upcoming AI5 chip represents such a large leap forward that Tesla may need to restrict its exports due to federal regulations. He also noted that AI5 draws far more power at peak load, forcing Tesla to fully redesign the electrical and thermal systems making it incompatible as a simple computer swap and requiring substantial work for any retrofits. Reports indicate that the new computer would deliver around 2,500 tops compared to the 300 on Hardware 4. Additionally, new information surfaced during the All Summit podcast revealing that the next generation chip will have 8 times more raw compute power and nearly 40 times improvements in certain key metrics. It will also include 9 times more memory, and given that Hardware 4 includes 16 gigabytes of RAM, Tesla has designed the new chip with up to 144 gigabytes with 5 times the memory bandwidth. Adding to this, just over the past days, Elon has shared new details about the production roadmap for Tesla's future AI chips outlining a multi-year plan extending into 2030 and beyond. The roadmap comes just after Elon teased the next generation chips up to AI8, even though the company is now only moving towards AI5. In a post on X, he confirmed that slightly different versions of AI5 will be produced at both TSMC and Samsung due to differences in each foundry's design process, but despite this, the goal is for the software to perform identically across both versions. AI5 will begin sample and limited production in 2026 with high volume manufacturing expected for early 2027. Then for the next chip, AI6 will be built on the same partnership and deliver roughly double the performance, targeting mass production by mid-2028. Beyond that, Elon confirmed that AI7 is already in early planning requiring different fabs due to the ambitious architecture. He also then hinted that AI8, described as out of this world, will arrive around 2030, signaling Tesla's intent to maintain exponential performance growth for its silicon chips. Alright guys, so what's really interesting here is how far ahead Tesla is really thinking and planning for the AI roadmap. We're talking about chips that are planned up to hardware 8, AI8, years before even AI5 begins production. All of this added together really shows us the long-term commitment they have to focusing on creating their custom silicon instead of other manufacturers relying on off-the-shelf chips. It clearly shows that Tesla isn't just trying to make its car smarter by adding better chips each and every single year. It's building an entirely new computing ecosystem to power autonomy, energy, robotics, and everything else for the next decade. Now, in other news, Tesla has announced it will be making a major update to its warranty offerings, revealing that starting in 2026, the company will introduce new extended coverage options for high voltage batteries, expanding production beyond the standard eight years. This follows Tesla's earlier move just last month, allowing owners to now add an additional seven years or 70,000 mile warranty on key drivetrain related parts for the new Model S, Model 3, Model X, and Y, covering parts like motors, inverters, and charging components. The latest update was quietly mentioned in an email to customers showing Tesla's growing confidence in the long-term reliability of its EVs while providing owners with more peace of mind as their vehicle ages. Although the specifics aren't finalized just yet, it's likely Tesla is using a subscription-based model similar to its extended service agreement, allowing owners to extend high-voltage battery coverage for one to four additional years on a monthly basis. Prices could range from $100 to $200 per month, depending on model and battery capacity, and Tesla may introduce multi-tier, one covering degradation, and another for broader battery system repairs or replacements. Tesla's recent confidence in expanding warranty coverage stems from real-world data. Many owners report minimum degradation even after years of heavy driving, 
reinforcing the company's claim that its batteries can outlast the initial warranties. The extended service agreement itself already gives owners up to four more years of general coverage after the standard four-year 50,000 mile period available either as a subscription or a lump sum payment starting at under $100 per month in both Canada and the US. So there we have it guys. This is some really incredible but at the same time very confusing news. Tesla's roadmap isn't just about faster chips at this point, it's about long-term computational backbones that would drive all of their products. Right now, they're using AI4 as part of the data center as well as for personal vehicles. And soon enough, with AI5, they're going to be seeing it in various different products, including RoboTaxi and Optimus. The things, however, that do come out as a straight-up surprise is that the early announcements of AI6, AI7, and AI8, it feels like our cars are never going to be the best one, and something is just right around the corner but this time, it has been confirmed directly from the company themselves. Now, truth be told, I wouldn't even be surprised if they somehow just Osborne themselves by announcing this early, even for AI5, which is coming in limited capacity and production next year, likely on just their premium models like the SX and Cybertruck. There's going to be a ton of people waiting out and holding out for this chip, and now there's going to be a ton more waiting out and holding out for the AI6 and beyond. Now, at this point, in my personal opinion, we've been waiting for so long and it wouldn't hurt to wait just a little bit longer. There's no reasons as to why you would jump out and get a brand new car right now with AI4 inside when AI5, the one that is gonna be 40 times more powerful, is just around the corner. And if you are planning to get a new car, I think that is going to be a sweet spot. Don't worry about AI6 and AI7, AI8. Those are likely going to be coming way later down the road or they're going to be used for a completely different product. But AI5, that is going to be the one that brings so much capabilities. 144 gigabytes of RAM versus the 16 that we have right now. Now, before we head out, I do have a real question for you guys and i love to hear your thoughts on this. If Tesla believes that AI4 in its current capabilities can handle unsupervised full self-driving and robo-taxi, and at the very most AI5, why the need for the rest of the chips? Do you think these chips are going to be going into the vehicles, or do you think it's going to be entirely used for something else? Let me know in the comments below. I will continue to keep a close eye on everything that comes out and update you as quickly as possible. So I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. And if you have the time, head over to X at Hey John E or follow me in the link below. Over there, you'll see things that you wouldn't see over here. You can chat with me anytime or respond as quickly as possible. This should be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. This is John once again. Peace out.